undercut make it difficult for part to eject from the mold and this is the obstacle to remove the part so we can say like there are the four ways we're going to be have to avoid undercut in injection molding so this is something like the undercut is the most important thing we need to study like we need to remove without that we cannot remove the part from the mold okay so there are the four ways we can go for removing the undercut so first will be nothing but the shut off so shut off is nothing but the angle we can add or the we can add the extra additional mechanism so that will remove the undercut with respect to the partially we can remove in a side and partially in b side okay suppose this is this is a particular slot we're going to be have okay so this is something like slot or part we're going to be have okay so in this case so if i draw this 3d part so this slot will be something like this in the part okay and the part will be something like this we have Okay, so this is nothing but that particular slot on inclined face. We have just drawn this much portion. So now this slot we need to remove because that will not remove in, in tooling line. So vertical and uh, down in tooling line, we cannot remove this slot. So for that reason, what we need to do, so we need a required extra additional mechanism that might be the slider or lifter. In, in this case, it will be the slider, but we can avoid that slider with respect to additional thing we can we need to do so we need to split this particular slot into the drafts and that we can remove this much portion in upper side and this much portion we can remove in downside okay so this is called as a shut off because this two this surface of core and this surface of cavity it's going to be rub on each other while it's going to be get separate it will be slide on each other and in that case we require the shut off okay so shut off angle mostly we're going to be have seven degree five degree okay so that will be depend upon how much jerky we're going to be have why we need to remove the shut off shut off is something like to remove the jerk of the two parts okay so there will be the jerk in two parts so this two part going to be like core and cavity get rubbed and due to that there is there should not be any jerk and that should not be disturbed any other feature on core and cavity so for that reason the shut off is important to avoid any jerk and smoothly transition or the shifting or sliding of this core and cavity so this one we can do to remove this undercut okay so I will un un draw that undercut again. So something like this, we're going to be on the part. So it will be on inclined faces. Something like this. And with respect to that, we required extra additional feature to remove this particular undercut. Okay. So for that reason, definitely we, we are checking this particular line. Okay, from this to this. And here also from this to this, we can remove this portion. So this will be considered as a vertical we're going to be have. And in that case, we're going to be remove this in upper side. And this will be in inner one in a downside. This is how we can avoid a slider and lifter. So slider lifter is nothing but extra additional mechanism that comes with the cost. Okay, when we are thinking about adding a slider or lifter that will be at the cost okay so for that reason we can avoid that first with the option we have is nothing but the shut off to go for then there is a next option we have by shifting the parting line or moving the parting line that we can avoid any undercut we have okay so if you just check like anything we have something like this Okay, so this kind of the flange we have and the part 
and the tooling line is something like in this direction okay so this will be we can we can get under cut condition okay so by that time we can shift the parting line and we can do that particular thing to remove that undercut okay so if something like this we have part okay so this will be the undercut so we can we can shift that or the, we can add the draft over here and we can check we can add for that in core and cavity and shift the parting line somewhere here so then there will be the option we can have what what we have in in our day to day life paint to cap example okay so something like this we have cap of the pen so you, you might have seen so there will be a bump inside the cap okay inside the cap you can find there is a bump and you can see when we're going to be have the nip of the pen okay so in this particular area also we're going to be find some bump is there so when it's going to be get insert it will be get locked to that bump okay it will be locked to that bump so this is the condition we are doing in day to the life in pain also so this particular bump they will remove with the pressure injection or pressure movement so this is how so we can remove that and due to the we will use that plastic property so it will be flex so that property we can use of plastic and with respect to that we can remove this particular bump or the undercut okay by just moving the tool and with respect to that it will be just shift for for time being and we can regain his original position so that is something like we can say it's bump off okay so just remove that particular with the force ejection and it will be re regain its original position with respect to the plastic property then we can add slider lifter that is again the case we can have okay so if the undercut is not possible to avoid so we can check that slider li lifter action so this is something like the core and cavity we need to do and we can do that okay so as we already already seen over in this particular area so this is the undercut what we have it's not going to be get removed by any of the portion okay so this is something like we have the undercut so we cannot do anything to shift this particular undercut okay so this is we have the tooling line so in that case definitely we required an extra additional feature that is called as a slider okay so this slider is nothing but we required to remove this particular undercut so this much portion is known as an undercut for for this particular part in this tooling line okay so we have seen like undercut is nothing but the obstacle to remove the part from the mold with respect to tooling line and if you want to remove we need to do play with some conditions so this we have the options we can go for the shut off we can move the parting line we can bump up that particular surface so these are something like the options we have or definitely at last we can add slider or lifter so whenever we add slider or lifter that going to be cost a part more that tool or more okay so that we need to take care about like whenever we say we required the slider or lifter it will be at the cost so try to avoid the slider and lifter